Me? Gunga ga 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 Okay, it's the remake of Crisis Core. And, um... Wait, no, 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 I want to see the intro. Hang on. I hit enter by accident. I actually hit enter by accident. I'm gonna have to answer the question a bunch. Like, why am I playing this early? Um, I'm playing the PC version. Well... You know what happened, chat? There was a, a truck. There was a Crisis Core truck. And I was following it as it was dropping off copies. And it, it fell off the truck. No, that's not what happened. Here's what happened. A PR firm, on behalf of Square Enix, reached out to me. Oh, there's the music. Fast! Thrill, Inc. And, uh, they said, uh, would you like to, um, modulate phase? Would you like to do a sponsorship? I said, no, but I'll take a copy of the game if you've got it. And the dude was like, yeah. No problem. I don't... I don't... You know, homie, don't play that. Uh, I like to... I like to be able to say whatever I want in, when I play a game without having to thank Square every 20 minutes. But I'll take a free copy of the game. So that's what I do. If, if that's on the table, sometimes I ask, sometimes they say no. Uh, sometimes they say yes. This time they said yes. I was very pleased. And I get to play it a week early. I have about six hours of gameplay before I cannot, um, play anymore. The end of chapter two is the, uh, the limit of this early gameplay. It comes out next week. So, I think it said in the document there's about six hours of gameplay. I'm not even gonna make it that far. I'm not even gonna make it that far, but... Try normal mode. We're just gonna play for a couple hours and see what the game is all about. And see how the combat is. I know people are gonna complain about Zack's voice, as will I. As all the trailers have indicated. Sorry, new Zack voice actor. It's just not the same. What is that? What was that? Uh, I guess most of you probably know I'm a huge Final Fantasy VII fan, and I, I actually really liked the remake. Why is this intro so cr Is this an upscaled from the original intro? I think it is. No. Is it? Pre-rendered is upscaled. This means accurates aren't 100% accurate. If accurates outfits aren't 100% accurate to in-game. Okay. Zach, focus. 
There are no Shinra troops on this train. Understood? There must always be a train. Someone said, why does Zack sound like a Muppet? Oh, God. We'll, we'll have a discussion about the choice. We haven't even heard it yet, chat. Alright, well... Shit. Yeah, chili dogs! We'll talk about the bias of us just being used to Rick Gomez. Oh, by the way, yeah, this is something you can do in the Final Fantasy VII universe. I should say, this is something you can do... Soldier second class Zack on the job! <laughs> kind of in the post-Final Fantasy VII universe. But then again, there's Omni Slash, so... Since the script is apparently the same, it will bring even more comparisons. Well. You know. We're gonna complain. I'm gonna complain. But I'm also just, at a certain point, just gonna say I'm done complaining. Just because I have a bias towards Rick Gomez, who I'm used to. Speaking. Oh boy. Making progress, Zach. Angeal, what's going on? Why are we fighting Shinra troops? They're Wu Tai oh troops in disguise. Now, head to the open area above. You mean towards Sector Eight? Yes. But first, you're gonna have to clear a path. Clear a path? You'll see what I mean. Be careful. <laughs> All right. Well. So I can cut loose, right? You mean I can dodge bullets? It's showtime. Activating combat mode. Vinny, don't commit heresy. The Japanese voiceover is better. I understand, chat member, but I'd appreciate if you just, you know, let me make my choices as a game uh, player. And uh, are we are we cool with that? We've reached an agreement. I, I you know. Okay, so move, move camera, target lock, release target lock, switch targets, attack, guard, dodge, okay. So I, I've heard the combat is actually better this time around. Because, I mean, the combat was okay, it was just a lot of modulating phase. <laughs> it wasn't... You know, sometimes I didn't even feel like I was playing a video game. It felt like it was playing itself. LB... And then Materia. Later. Okay. Game looks way better than the original. It's not on par with Final Fantasy VII Remake, but this is also designed for the Switch. And it's not a, like, a quote-unquote remake like Final Fantasy VII Remake, which, by the way, was a little bit of a, uh, as you know, that was a little bit of a rug being pulled from under us. Yeah, this is lower budget. And also, it's sticking to the original script very specifically. Go up the stairs at the end of the platform. But uh, for those that don't know, I actually played through Crisis Core you twice. Um, once when it came out-ish, like around that time, and then once on stream uh, not too long ago. So you can watch my playthrough of the original if you want. But I like it. I think it's probably some of the best Final Fantasy VII stuff since the original. Vinny, that stream was six years ago. Holy fuck. Oh my god, don't tell me that. Activating combat mode. Yep, there's slots, everybody. Ah, 
What is this behemoth doing out here? Whoa. You got potions with B. Is Square going to take down the ending of the game again? Oh, yeah, funny thing in the document, the stream document, it said, avoid playing the end of the game on your stream because the song will get claimed. So at least I was warned. Just, I'm gonna, listen, if I complete, by the way, do not expect a full playthrough. It's possible, but I am literally playing through like five games right now. So I'm gonna do my best. Um, if we get to the end of this game, I'm just going to mute it and play clown penis music, I swear. Okay. I, there's no way I'm gonna remember all that, so we'll just let it happen. Oh, we got no MP costs. Well, the, the slots seem a little less intrusive. Um, while gameplay, like, combat isn't overhauled as much as 7 Remake, I, I like it. I think it's actually... It's, it's a good mix of the original and the remake so far. So far. I've only played for a second, but I like it. Press Y to unleash Limit Break. I also asked which version I should um, get a key for because they were offering me a key. I said, well, what do you think is the definitive version? I said, Steam probably, right? And the person said, yeah, you probably want the Steam version. I would imagine the Switch version is still pretty good, and I think graphically this game was designed to work well with the Switch. But... Yeah, I went for the Steam version. What is this? Damn it. You're not the only hero. It's over. So again, it's going to be switching to the PSP cutscenes. Impossible. Which is a little jarring. Hmm. Chat, what if I told you Final Fantasy VII is actually a cell phone advertisement? Thanks, Angeal. <laughs> Leather noises. Over. You still have to use your flip phone Why? to turn off the holodeck. Uh, you serious? I was just getting warmed up. Wait, can you actually get a sword broken in half? In the holodeck? Zach. Mm -hmm. Embrace your dreams. Huh? Gee, that feels like a generic piece of advice that has nothing to do with the current situation. Thanks. To have dreams and honor. Okay, now I understand. Thanks. This is like when Lando Calrissian wears Han Solo's clothing at the end of uh, Empire Strikes Back. He, he just went into the, like, the Millennium Falcon's, um, dressing room, and he just took Han's vest and clothing. Because someone in chat was like, Vinny, why is Zach wearing Cloud's outfit? Actually. 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 
Someone said his eyes have radioactive himbo energy. Oh shit, Zach squats. Hey, Zach. You seem a little on edge. Can Sorry, you blame the me? picture froze. I tabbed out. Training and no assignments. Like they're hanging me out to dry. You must be pretty busy with everyone off base. Uh, off base? Wait, haven't you heard? There's been a mass desertion at Soldier. Huh? No, G Gungaga's different. Gungaga's later in the One game, the chat. Gungaga's already different. I've seen it. Seconds and thirds with him. All from Wutai. Motive, goal, all a mystery right it's now. It's very similar, this but just different voice acting. Desertion is why your training's on hold. Whoa. A first. Zach, you're up. Yeah, finally. Time for some real action. Yeah. Yes, it'll be your Sorry show. again, tabbed out. Yes! Report to Director yes! Lizard. There'll be a briefing. From within your mind, no one else can find The light that you inspire From another place, not from outer space Some place even higher, Director Lazar. Zach. It's good to finally meet face to face. Lazard, Director of Soldier. Hey, uh. On the business. Yes, I'm a pop culture vacuum, and then I spit Soldier it back into your face, chat member. Genesis. Correct. A month ago, he went missing during a mission in Wutai. Know anything about this? Not a clue. Hmm. Speed. Sorry, it was a little loud. The mission is currently stuck in limbo. That's why we've decided to send you. Uh, to Wu Tai? Yes. Is that actually got gacked? War has gone on long Wasn't he in Final Fantasy X as well? I recommended you for first. Oh no, that was jacked. <laughs> oh, Angel! I love you, man! <laughs> Angel! Ugh. Don't make me regret this, Zach. Sir. Once you're packed, you'll leave at once. Once you're packed, your name is gacked. After entering Wu Tai, we go straight to work. Did something weird just happen that I missed, chat? If you have any questions about missions and combat, he can help you. No, right? The door just opened. That was it. Hey, Zach. Anything you want to know? Just ask. Oh, First, it's Kunsel. We should really go over combat. You probably got a handle on it in training, but I sent you a mail explaining the basics. Take a look, okay? Uh, I'm good. I mean... I'm just trying to take in, like, the, the textures and lighting and everything. Time to spend six hours doing shitty side missions. Well, that's what made this game perfect for a handheld. So, did you read it? Yeah, uh, oh, absolutely. Thoughts? I mean, I doubt you'd get it all in one read. That is so not true. Well, it's there if you want to review. Oh, the materia you were using during training has been taken back. Powerful materia have to be earned. Those are the soldier rules. Now, let's talk about missions. The various services Shinra provides for civilians, those are what we call missions. To take on missions, you first have to register your information on the mission board. Once registered, you can look up mission information on your handset. I'll show you how to Was register this on voice the board. acted in the Come original, on. like Kunsel? Same VA as Robin from Fire Emblem? Oh. Okay, this wasn't voice acted. Alright, okay. Now that you're officially registered, you should try a mission. Oh, yeah. Good idea. 
The save point's that way. If you're not completely sure about something, read the tutorial mail that I sent you. Why does everyone look kind of rubbery? It's uh, Mako energy. A uh, Mako. Ma uh, Mako sharks. It's Ma Mako sharks has eaten everyone. Um, yeah, I guess the shading, maybe? I'm not sure what's going on with the rubbery look. Mission registration complete. Well, uh, regardless, I wanted to mention a couple things. So, one, the the voice actor. I, you know, it really pains me to shit on a voice actor for, you know... Activating combat mode. It's way. not usually the voice actor, if they're like a professional, it's more the director. In a lot of cases, from what I've learned over the years, like, but sometimes it is the voice actor, especially if it's like a lower budget game. But when you have a game like this, like, this is now the new voice of Zack. And the thing about that is, it's the tone of voice, which maybe we're not into. I'm personally not into this, the voice actor's, like, tone. But, like I said, I like Rick Gomez, but it wasn't an award-winning performance. It was just kind of cheeky. And a little silly. Like, he had a really, um... To me, his voice fit the character, but again, I'm biased because I'm used to it. But also, like, going back and watching some of his performance, he's like... I don't know, it's, nice it's like, kind of almost self-aware. Uh, chat saying that this new voice actor is a little nasally. Yeah, maybe that's it. Maybe it's just some of the I line readings. Blindfolded. But, uh... I, listen, I don't know. It, it, it could also be the directing. It could be a number of things. <laughs> You're the man! I can't wait to see how you do in Wu-Tai. Oh! I almost forgot to tell you. Which is weird, because for Final Fantasy VII Remake, I liked almost every voice actor and thought they were, like, phenomenal. So... Why did the voice actor change? When they Let did Final Fantasy VII Remake, they pods. changed every voice actor. In these pods, you'll find items that you can use in battle. Compliments of the company. So they're provisions for soldier members. Make sure they don't go to waste. Ah. Ah. All right, looks like you're all ready to head out. Lastly, let me tell you about mail. Just now, I sent mail to your handset. You can also get messages from Director Lazar. You should check it, who knows? Yes. <laughs> you don't just read mail that you get from girls, okay? Yes. <sighs> I mean, eh. <sighs> well, it looks like you're with Angeal, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're, we're really getting, like, tutorial. Okay, so we're- we're all set on the, um... Materia. Uh... and you can... Like, do multiple sets. How do you wear, uh, the bronze bangle? HP plus 10%. Don't tell me you're gonna be skipping all the dialogue like this. Ah, yes, the tutorial dialogue. Anyway, I wonder if any of that tutorial dialogue told us how to equip the bronze bangle. Kunzel here, now that you've got your mail account ready. Uh, again, um, chat, please keep in mind, I played this game on stream in full five years ago, six years ago, whenever it was, and I gave it the full treatment. I don't even know if this is going to be a full playthrough, chat. It, it might not be. 
So if you're looking for like a streamer who's going to like read everything and really, really get into it, I'm sorry, I can't be your streamer. Bronze bangle. There you go. See, I know, I know what to do. I'll, all I have to do is skip the dialogue, and I'll love it. It's time to head to Wu Tai. Are you? Can we reach Gungaga? As well. That might be like 10, 15 Put hours. 10, Sir, 10, 12 hours, maybe. By the way, what is your dream? To become first? Is it? No. To become a hero. Ah, oh, good. Unattainable dreams are the best kind. Uh, thanks? Wow. With support like that. Fort Tamplin is straight ahead. Let's go. The unit is already standing by. You two there! Hold it! Okay then. Leave this to me. Activating Got combat him. mode. Got him. The end. Conflict resolved. Oh yeah. Hmm. Okay, next. Calm down, Zach. <laughs> no can do. I mean, Someone said, "Why does Zach sound like a right? '90s cartoon?" He, well, to be fair, his pressure. character is Zach. like this. Heard of dumb apples? No. Dumbasses. Incredible. You really don't know. Well, so much for you making first. <laughs> he doesn't know. Whoa! Wait. What's this dumb apple? Um, pretty decent looking environments. Like I'm, I'm actually, uh, I'm pretty impressed for a lower budget remake that is also meant to look good on the Nintendo Switch. Activating combat mode. Oh yeah, enemies just appear out of nowhere. Take that. Listen, it's no twiles of mana. And uh, one of the reasons I'm happy I can say whatever I want as I play this game is Square has been very inconsistent with their remasters. But Live Alive was phenomenal. Trials of Mana was actually really good. So, you know, they can do it. No, this isn't the Switch version. This is the PC version, but apparently the Switch version still looks pretty good. So, Angeal, what's the deal with dumb apples? The official name is Benora White. The trees bear fruit at random times during the year. Because of that, the townspeople affectionately call them dumb apples. <laughs> You're a dumb apple, Zach. The local farms had plenty of them to spare. Oh, really? So you stole them? We were poor, Zach. Nice excuse. But even then, I had my honor. The largest Benora white tree grew on a wealthy man's estate. It was rumored that those apples tasted the best. But I never stole from that tree because the wealthy man's son was my friend. If he was a friend, you should have just asked for some. Honor can be when do you unlock Jesus powers times and what exactly does this have to do with me no story is not worth hearing <laughs> what that's it yeah well thanks a lot hmm <laughs> um okay real quick once again, for anyone just joining, just to eliminate any confusion, this game isn't out. It's out in a week. And, uh... They sent this to me. Because, um... 
I don't know. Actually, I have no idea. They saw numbers they liked. Uh, and it's not a sponsorship. It's just a game key early. And I don't have to thank Square every 20 minutes. And this is the PC version, which I chose. And I have played Crisis Core uh, before. I've, I've finished it twice in the past. So, now you have all the backstory you need. The unit will set off an explosion. That's our cue. The diversion will allow us to infiltrate. Right. You can thank Square if you want, chat. the bomb inside the fortress. You'll charge the front gate and... Uh-huh. And? And, and, and? And, and, and? Yourself. You got it. That's what I do best. Uh, come on, B-Unit. <sighs> you know, I've never actually seen you use that. Don't you think it's sort of a waste? Use brings about wear, tear, and rust. Oh, God. And that's a real waste. You're serious, aren't you? Yeah. I can be pretty cheap. Yeah, well, Angel, okay. how do you hurt people? I hurt them with my words, Zach. Begin mission. Someone said, why is everyone so insufferable? <laughs> yeah, this is... This is kind of, um, uh, what's the year this came out originally? Like, 2008-ish? Square Enix? 2007. Hold the line here. It's just one man. However, I'm gonna there say that it man. definitely, weirdly enough, you do get, like, kind of an emotional attachment to Zack. If you just let him into your heart. This game actually has some, like, bizarrely, um, some bizarrely, like, emotional moments. <laughs> like, kind of surprising. You can spin. I really gotta stop using my potions by accident. Does this feel like remake? Uh, no, not not quite. It just feels like better Crisis Core. Why are there slots? Yeah, that was one of the weirdest aspects of this game. The road to becoming first is not easy. Strength is not the only requirement. Yeah, I know. But still, I want to make first. Listen to me, Zach. If you want to be first... I'll embrace my dreams and honor. And my dream is to become a hero. <laughs> All right. And who says I don't you watch anime? Support. Yeah, the slots are really fucking weird. They just continue happening. We're, you know, they're used in a certain way later on in the game. That's surprising. But while you're playing, they just have random effects that can give you bonuses. Which the original, it was like very annoying. It seems like they made it less annoying here and the flow of combat is not interrupted. Vinny, will you be checking out Dwarf Fortress Steam Edition? Um, I don't know. That game might be a little too complex for me. I am Babby after all. I don't I'm not sure yet. I I love Rimworld, but You know, I'm not I'm not sure. Um 
they streamlined it a lot with the graphics yeah. and a better UI and everything, so I, I might check it out at some point in the future, but chat, the next couple months are going to be clusterfucked with gaming. So maybe, I'm going to say a, a very optimistic maybe on Dwarf Fortress, because I did see what it looked like now and I watched a couple videos and I was like, oh, I can make this happen. Now, can you install milkable dwarves? Vinny, people in chat will complain about you playing the non-indecipherable version. I know. Piece of cake. Could have done it blindfolded. Stay alert. I've heard the Wutai keep a monster around for anti-soldier purposes. It should be somewhere in the fort. So, if I can take it out, will I make first? Depends on the quality of work. Your main task is diversion. Run amok and gather attention. Do well, and you'll gain favor with Director Lazard. That'll be a cakewalk. Just watch. Yeah, pretty much, Dave. Um, I do think that real, like, true Dwarf Fort fans would be happy to see someone new get into it, no matter how it looks. That's my, just, guess? Real dwarves, but I don't know for sure. Magic attacks are effective against enemies with elemental weakness. But I know if I play it, there will be people who would get upset. And I'll just tr straight up say I'm a fake, fake fan. Have never played it before. Let's go. That's okay. There he is! Get him! Activating combat mode. Ah. Oh. Oh shit! I'm out of MP. Oh, yeah. I got it back. I got it back through the slots, actually. Activating combat mode. So yeah, the fact that enemies are just everywhere harkens back to the original, like kind of RPG feel of Final Fantasy VII, but also of just Final Holy Fantasy. But again, keep in mind this game was designed for the PSP and was a lower budget game. Though I would say this was probably one of the... I mean, I didn't play a lot of PSP games. I've done, like, Sunday stream PSP shit. But, um, this was one of the better PSP games, according to many PSP fans. Activating So for, for anyone wondering, okay, where does this game... That was one of the questions I got earlier before I even started playing this was, um... Where does this game fit in in the timeline of Final Fantasy? Final Fantasy VII? This is a prequel. And, um, it has... No Final Fantasy VII Remake exclusive stuff. Like, because that changes the story a little bit. I don't think this does anything like that. Is it cannon? Yeah, it's you cannon. Better believe it. Leveled up too. All right. Let's see the results. There, your data from last month. All right. Bring it. Me from last month. Ah! No improvement whatsoever. Training's over. Ah! <laughs> Maybe I should leave him with Sephiroth for a while. Brace yourself. Like, this didn't need Prove to happen. This dude was almost dead. I got it. Just showing off at this point. Oh, yeah. Vinny, what are your Open thoughts on pistachios? Oh, pistachios are awesome. That's a random fucking question. Penguin of Doom shit. No, I love pistachios. They're great. Conflict resolved. 
Pistachio ice cream? Oh, yeah. Yes. What do you think of pistachio mustachio? No, it's it's must pistachio mustachi. There he is. Get him. That's Dana Carvey's name when he was a turtle. That's his turtle character. Um, and uh, they had a moment of silence for 9/11 while Dana Carvey was in turtle outfit. not true no it is true it didn't happen on 9-11 but when they resumed filming they had a moment of silence he's telling the fake story again bro didn't dana carvey confirm we make our stand here ready aim fire it was after, but there was a moment of silence. More troops are on route. It's over. Too many conflicting points of information from him, crew, IMDB, etc. Not in costume. Okay. Well, I don't know, chat. I kind of feel like in our current age of like anything you want can be true. I'm gonna imagine that on 9-11, Dana Carvey was dressed as a turtle, and he was singing and dancing, and they told him, like, they whispered in his ear what happened, and then he stopped, and he had a moment of silence. The enemy could be lurking anywhere. Keep your eyes open. Could you imagine if Square watches this? Oh, God. Still, to protect our homeland, we must stand against our enemies, no matter what. Even if it means our lives. In Wu Tai, retreat is never an option. What? Retreat! Against bad odds, retreat is the best strategy. Oh my God. Someone said, damn, I'm dropping fucking bangers in chat today, and Vin hasn't read any of them. Pistachios are the best nut other than the ones I crack to anime titties. Vinny, will you play the Vincent game Dirge of Cuck Coffin? Bangers chat, remember? Speaking of bangers, chat, do you like bangers and mash? Have you ever had that? It's just sausage. It's just sausage and mashed potatoes. Yeah. Just now, I was checking out a revolving wall and was jumped. Other walls may be trapped too. Stay alert. I like when Bangers and Mash goes bum 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 bum. Uh, yeah, so that, that chat member with the bangers, thank you. Um, but yeah, if Square was like, we should check out who we gave a key to. We should watch this early stream of this game we worked so hard on. And then here I am talking about this stuff. Also, they said hard on. Where did he go? Sneaky little pest. Treachery! Activating combat mode. Later. 
a lot of electric guitar in the post Final Fantasy VII Final Fantasy VII universe. You notice that, chat? It's not immediately the instrument I would associate with Final Fantasy VII. Don't get me wrong, I love guitar, I love drop D tuning. Thank you for the raid. I think we got a Kony raid. Thank you, thank you. Kony, we gotta play that game. I don't wanna spoil it, but we gotta play that game at some point soon. But yeah, a lot of guitar. Um, they did this in a couple other things too. some ice. Good work, Zack. Enemy forces within the fort have been halved. You can proceed to the central area. I'm gonna take out all the enemies here first. Eliminate any remaining enemies you find. I don't know why. Vinny, if Fortnite reached out to you to make a skin, would you say yes? Um... Uh, yeah, but it's me. I'd feel really weird about it. I wouldn't refuse, because that's like... Uh... God, that's a, that's a cool opportunity. I wouldn't refuse, but it, it would be me. What am I doing in a video game? I don't need to be in a fucking video game. Grey Leno, Nortz, or Meat would make a whole lot more sense. Like, I really don't need them doing a streamer series. Oh wait, isn't Mr. Beast in Fortnite? Yeah. Alright, never mind then. Good work, Zack. Enemy forces within the fort have been halved. You can proceed to the central area. Understood. Keep pressing forward. Be wary. The enemy's hurt, but not down. I don't even know where that last enemy was. It's fine. Vinny, think of the golden play button. <laughs> uh. Uh, that must be the central area. Visuals are nice. Activating combat mode. Ah. Oh god. How does one block an attack not facing the enemy? Hmm. Yeah, they kept the slots. They just made them less intrusive. I hate to say it, but the slots are, like, almost central to this game's whole identity. The road to becoming first is not easy. You know, strength is not the only shit required. like this. Yeah, I know. But still, I want to make first. Listen to me, Zach. If you want to be first... You I gotta get the golden play button. Honor. And my dream is to become a hero. I want to become right. a YouTuber. You have my support. You're in for it now! 
prove your honor to me. I got it. Oh yeah! Sorry. There is definitely some Sonic the Hedgehog energy to this performance. Magic plus five. By the way, you can, like, use the in-game shop whenever you want. <laughs> I've got mail from Shinra News. News you can trust. Just go to witch.tv slash Shinra News. We have received reports from the security and soldier departments on the state of the war with Wutai. We've been in negotiations with Wutai for years in order to peacefully resolve the long dispute regarding Mako extraction in the region. However, Wutai's steadfast refusal has resulted in aggressive, uh, aggravated tensions. In order to break through this impasse, we have decided to resume military action. A special attack force of the smallest size has been mobilized to keep the scale of operations to a minimum. And then Lazard trying to tell Zack, like, listen, dude, you're not very professional. Y you need to be more professional. They send two guys in What's to go to this? war against an entire nation. That is Wutai's guardian deity, the Great Leviathan. We are the Wutai army's elite, the Crescent. We serve Leviathan and smite Wutai's enemies. Soldier of Shinra, a query. Is the goal of this invasion to spread your Mako reactors? Yes. Democracy would allow people to live better lives. And that includes you. This better life that you speak of comes at the grave cost of losing our homeland. Pain and despair. That's what you bring. Pain. One more question. You have power. So I must ask, why do you use it to cause evil? <laughs> Is it wrong to spread happiness through Mako energy? Oh, Zach drank the Mako Kool-Aid. consider evil? I thought we could reason with each other as warriors. But sadly, I was mistaken. Then let us settle things as warriors. Come for it! Activating combat mode. From my point of view... <laughs> Anyone who doesn't have Mako energy is evil! Oh man, I just got a good slot. Why won't you finish me? You don't even deserve the courtesy of a reach around. As long as we draw breath, we will oppose Shinra. Now, finish it. Oh, come on. Activating combat mode. Resolved. So there's Gacked in this game. There's Zacked. Anjil is Jacked. Brapped. That's right. Who are you? 
I am Wutai's greatest warrior. It's over for you because now you have to face me. A little kid? This area is not safe for you. Go on home now. You're the oh. one going home. Very realistic if lip movements. Chat, is, was this in the original? You're gonna have to go through me. Oh, How do I not remember young Yuffie in this game? Here? Shushu, ha! Take that, oh yeah, no, guy. I remember now. I remember the animation. Oh god. I can imagine people seeing this for the first time. <laughs> be like, what the now fuck is this? With me. Once again, I saved Wu Tai. <laughs> There's a boy, chat member oh that kept trying to say that this That's game was cringe game. earlier. And I was yeah. getting a little annoyed, Back but. But. It's not cringe. You know what's weird though? You do get used to it. And as you play this game and others like it, you just kind of... It just kind of becomes normal. But, but here's the problem, is if you start saying things like Desune in real life, you might be Japanese. soldier monsters activating combat mode some enemies use special abilities um, the enemy will display display enter uh, thing uh, words attacking the enemy decreases the abilities impact boy I, I really read that Be careful, don't lose, or you're in for an orc massage. Wait, you promise? for materia and now i'm late for my assignment i see but where's your sword don't you need that too ah! ever the restless poppy someone said um mako energy is bad anyway here's two demons <laughs> You hear that? You hear those turntables? Soldier second class Zack. Victorious again. Good work. Now, get out of there. You've only got five minutes. Got it. Director Lazard, are you watching? <laughs> Gotta move. Literally Sonic. Uh, no time to play. That vinyl is going to be so warped.
That's one more you owe me. <laughs> I thought you never used your sword. You lost your focus. Uh, yeah. Oh, sorry if your sword got any wear, tear, or rust on it. You're a little more important than my sword. But just a little. <laughs> Thanks. Play the Aerith theme. I'm here. I must apologize. Hello, it's me, Being David Lazard. Taxing. You didn't have to come personally. This operation will bring an end to the war. I wanted to see it through. Soldier Second Class Zek. Sir! You put forth a good effort at Fort Tamblin. I saw it with my own eyes. To be frank, my evaluation is... You diverted the enemy and successfully supported Angeal. For a second, that was exemplary work. Jack, do you know the difference between a first and a second? Yeah, one comes out your backside, the other comes out Going your front. Above and beyond is always the expectation. That's soldier first class. Remember that. Telling me I can dodge bullets. Zach, let's go. Sephiroth is waiting. Sephiroth? The hero? Wow. It's Sep. I'm gonna meet a hero. Hero. <laughs> Heightened emotions. There are now Sephiroth emotions. How do the best soldiers just ignore an ambush for Zack? I, 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 I. Zack can handle it. Now go. Follow me, director. Director Lazard. Oh, thank goodness you're safe. Zack, I should be fine now. Assist and Geo. Yeah, I'm on it. Speaking of Lazar and Rem Lazar, um, Rem Lazar sent me a hat. This is not an advertisement, but it also kind of is just by extension. It's a quixotic amulet hat. <laughs> uh, show it. Uh, no. It's just blue. It's blue with a gold amulet on it, chat. It was pretty neat. Does it have powers? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it has powers. What are its stats? Um, you get a little bit of extra strength. Tylenol. Did he send you a weight belt to hide your hog, too? No. No, I don't, I don't think they, they make those. The Rem Lazar weight belt. No. Lizard blade. Or you can just put on, like, HP up. Um, let me do set number two here.
Can we zoom in on the emotion indicator? <laughs> no. Will you play Pizza Tower when it comes out in January? Probably, yeah. Will you put an emotion indicator on all of your streams? It's just an angry Sephiroth. A summon? Who called it out? Activating combat mode. I kind of feel like some chud who's not even soldier first class versus a summon versus an Eidolon like Ifrit would just be an unfair fight, but what do I know? I keep pressing the potion button instead of dodging. Oh. You're in for it now. Concentrate. I'm feeling it. Vinny, you have to deflect the flames back with left click and then draw him in with right click. No, 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 that was Satan and this- and Jesus. Zack is not Jesus. Feeling it. It's an interesting way to say you fucking killed Satan. Or a Satan like creature. Sephiroth is so cute. Sephiroth, how could you do something like that? In our new movie, Final Fantasy VII Advent Core, Sephiroth will be voiced by Chris Pratt. He's so cute. Oh, Genesis. The missing soldier first class? They're identical. A Genesis copy. Copy? I, I also liked copy? previous Sephiroth voice Where's better. Where's Angeal? I thought he was fighting around here. So he's gone too. What? Wait, what does that mean? It means Angeal has betrayed us as well. No way. I know what kind of guy Angeal is, and he never do that. And Jill wouldn't betray us. Never! I just love how extra everyone is. As if that's like... As like... Humans are. Very human. What's with Angeal? Speaking of extra, is he gonna slack off Zach like does not skip it's leg day or core day. Sephiroth's no help either. 
lumping Angeal together with Genesis. Genesis is a deserter who took a bunch of seconds and thirds along with him. He used copies of himself to attack us. Angeal wouldn't condone something like that. Because Genesis Genesis means way too much to him. Everything's so messed up now. Angeal, just come back to us. And the plot is off to a roaring start. A rock'em, sock'em, cock-sucking plot. <laughs> second class, Zach. That would be me. Who is this? Director Lazard wants to see you. Go to the briefing room. Hey, wait! Who was that? Any word on Angeal? He hasn't contacted his family either. So what's this about? A new assignment. I want you to go to the hometown of our missing soldier first class, Genesis. Huh? According to the parents, they've had no contact with Genesis whatsoever. But they can't be trusted. Why? They're his family. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I had already dispatched some staff, but we've lost contact. I want you to go and investigate. He will go with you. Song of the Turks. This job is looking really gloomy. Hmm. Song is pretty cool. Let me know when you're ready to go. The Turks are great. Remember when they made a, a game about the Turks and it was just on like shitty flip phone? When Zack's emotions are heightened and the bond between him and one of several characters grows stronger, the character's image will be added to the DMW. DMW is connected to Zack's memories and when a new image is added, certain memories may play as images from Zack's heart. Hey, Zach! Did you know that song is the part of your heart? Hey! Uh, hello? Oh, hey! It's Consul. Did you read my mail? Not yet. I'll read it later. I'm in a meeting in the briefing room right now. Gotcha. Hey, can I talk to you after that? I'm kind of busy, but if you can keep it short... Yeah, that's fine. All right, I'll be outside the briefing room. Very human. Chocobo mode? Is that like the goblin mode of this game? Seems every soldier first class has a quirk or three, but I think Angeal has a lot of common sense and is a trustworthy fellow. Let's face it, Genesis never found group activities appealing, so Angeal is, in fact, the spiritual leader of Soldier. Got a lot of respect for him, too. I envy you for getting to work with him so often. Murderous thrust. mission you should always remember to check the supply pod you know because we're not notified when it's been restocked rumor has it that it's because of the company's cost-cutting measures I like how like this game is so Star Wars that they named two of the rebels Biggs and Wedge Wait, chat, what did I get from this? I wasn't paying attention because I was talking about something stupid. What, what did I get just now? What are... 
Uh, yeah, from Final Fantasy VI, too. I got Thunder. Thunder! Is this game werewolves? No, not really. Someone said it's fucking shit. Well, critics say the game ranges from shit to fucking shit. Activating combat mode. Bring it on. God, I really hope Square doesn't watch this. No, it's not. I played through this game twice. Again, it's a PSP game. It's designed like that, but I actually really enjoyed it the times I've played it. Activating combat mode. It's not as good as Final Fantasy VII, though I'm sure there's plenty of people in chat that would also say Final Fantasy VII is fucking shit. But that's also, you know, personal preference and tastes and all that. Um, I happen to love Final Fantasy VII, and I really, really enjoyed Final Fantasy VII Remake. I even liked Dirge of Cerberus, Half of it. I think I like half of it. And the Advent Children movie has a couple good scenes. So then you, you know, go on missions and stuff. What Final Fantasy uh, recommendations can you give for new players? I mean, my favorite's nine. Nine and six are two of the best ones, but seven was the one that got a lot of people into Final Fantasy. Oop, I'm using the wrong thing here, chat. But I mean, if you play Final Fantasy games, you're going to be in for many, many hours. Vinny, ten is amazing. I'll never understand why you didn't like it. I didn't say I didn't like 10. Um... I didn't love 10, but there was a lot I really enjoyed about it. So, yeah, I don't- I don't hate it or anything. Oh god. Just end it. There's a lot of grindy missions in this game, chat. And it all helps you power up and everything, but... You know. You don't really have to do any- well, I guess you don't have to do very much of it, but... Activating combat it's nice that it loads so quickly. I mean, listen, when it comes to Final Fantasy, I've shared my opinions plenty of times. I love Final Fantasies uh, 9 and 6 the best, but 7 was my entry into the series, and I will always have a soft spot for it. I even love Final Fantasy 8. 10 was good, and with the remaster, I'm sure you kind of, you know, would enjoy, people would enjoy. But it, there's something about it that didn't really do it for me. I don't know what it was. Um, Crystal Chronicles... You know, not the shitty remake, but I like that one. Um, 12 I never played. I 
I also really like Final Fantasy IV, and I think that is um, the earliest one I've played, but the DS remake was really good, and I feel like something like that would probably still be very playable for people. And every Final Fantasy I've played has an amazing soundtrack. Um, Uematsu is my favorite composer in video gaming. Would you ever invest the time to play 14? Yeah, I've received- oh, another Ifrit. Oh god. Um, I've received that question a lot. To straight up, Vinny, you should play this, why aren't you playing this? And the answer is, I don't like MMOs. Vinny, you can play it on your own time, and you don't have to play it like an MMO. You can just experience the story. That's the other answer um, I get. I'm just not interested. I'm sorry. I'm sure there are things I would love about it. I, I believe you, chat members, I do. How far away from Gungaga are we? We're, we're pretty far from Gungaga. Unless you want Gungaga now? Me? <laughs> yeah, I made that one. That was weird. For a little while there, the Gungaga meme came back. And people were, like, going mental with it, and that video I made 12 years ago ended up getting reposted so much, it's almost at a million. I'm like, what the fuck? I also, yeah, I also mixed it with, um, Radio Gaga by Queen. All we hear is Radio Gun Gaga. Hurry then. Why is chat so divisive on Final Fantasy VIII? I don't know anything about it. Um, Final Fantasy VIII has a lot of stuff that people who are fans of the series generally dislike. Um, like go. the gameplay and Ready Squall's go, personality. Right? No sweat. I wonder. Originally, Sephiroth was assigned to this mission. That means it's a top priority matter. Be alert or you'll fail. And Sephiroth? Refusing to go, apparently. Oh, what is that? They spoil him too much. <laughs> Why don't you say that to his face? Uh, no thanks. Someone said the characters in the plot are terrible. See, this is where we're gonna disagree here, chat. I don't love most of the characters, but there's definitely characters I enjoy. And I actually feel bad for Squall. Weird trees. Benora white trees. Or dumb apples. That means this is Benora Village? Angeal's hometown? Correct. Genesis and Angeal have known each other a long time.
Activating combat mode. Yeah, I know that. Most of Squall's whatever stuff was mistranslated. <laughs> but um, I actually like a lot of Final Fantasy VIII. The plot does get a little bit ham-fisted. Like the love stuff, I I'm not always crazy about. But the music is so good, it almost sells it. Uh, I like the world of Final Fantasy VIII. I like the weird, like, cities and Delling City and uh, the futuristic stuff. I like the space stuff, even if it makes no sense. Conflict resolved. But the gameplay is universally re uh, regarded as kind of broken, I, I would say. So they are here. We've seen no townspeople yet. They may have taken control of the whole town. When Genesis left, he took an arsenal along with him. Retriever destroyed. Those yeah, you can break the game as much orders. as you want. It's very easy to break. Okay, no sweat. The whole game's story was just whack. I don't agree 100%. I, I think Final Fantasy VIII had some cool stuff in it. But it did get a little dumb. Like, I actually had to explain it to my chat years ago when I was playing. Hey, you're my chat. And I needed, like, a PowerPoint presentation kind of stuff. I did like, put, like, a folder of images together just to figure it out and explain it all. Nowhere near as convoluted as Chrono Cross, which I equally love. But, yeah, no, there's aspects of that plot that are dumb, and I feel like... Without spoiling too much, Renoa could have been one of the characters from the past, and it would have made the story maybe a little cooler, but it would have made less sense, but at that point, just go for broke. I don't know. Every Final Fantasy game is its own separate world. Yeah, but when they realized that Final Fantasy VII was the best-selling game in the franchise by far, they just started making a ton of Final Fantasy VII stuff. Oh yeah, Ivelisse. There's that. Electricity right now. to X2 in the 7 remake. Yeah, I've heard that there's a connection between 10 and Final Fantasy 7. I used to know it. I don't remember it. Bringing out the big guns. Concentrate. I'm feeling it. Same universe. Well, I'll tell you what, it's a shame and and sad to see so many chat members don't like Final Fantasy 8. I know it gets shit on, but it's like kind of the underdog of the series that I enjoy in a weird way. But I also, you know, what I loved about it was that it tried something different. A Genesis copy. Nine is more of an underdog, but nine is beautiful Seth and wonderful. Said it. The technology was stolen from our scientists. Huh? It apparently allows Genesis's abilities and traits to be transplanted to soldier members and monsters.
Soldier and monsters were the same? Wow. Chat, it gets deep. Down for good, right? Zach, don't fool around. Let's hurry. Uh, but what if I want that treasure chest? There's also, um, in Final Fantasy VIII, there's a couple things, one last thing I'll say about Final Fantasy VIII, there's a couple things in it that I feel are really interesting choices. Like, there's these weird little, like, monster dudes, there's, like, slug people, like, there's just interesting, weird choices the game makes. I'm not saying it's a flawless game, I'm not even trying to convince people it's good, but between the weird futuristic stuff and like the strange witch stuff and the time compression and the moon and the weird slugma monsters like it, it's just so bizarre that i can't help but like uh, like it yeah there's a t-rex in the garden in the balam garden um i love the music it's one of the best soundtracks in the series and Laguna is incredible. So there's a lot to love this about Final Fantasy VIII. Home. Just some people aren't going to respond to it. And I, I respect that. Yeah, the Ragnarok scene is so fucking good. But I never stole from that tree. Because the wealthy man's son was my friend. They weren't mere acquaintances. They grew up together and were best friends. So Genesis desserts and gets his best friend Angeal to join him. Is that it? Sephiroth believes that's the case. There. Vinny, this Gungaga dialogue has me so hyped. <laughs> Zach, go find Angeal's house. Zach, I'll look at those friend. rocks. Ugh, so Turks always do this stuff? Someone has to do it. Must be rough. Don't worry. We're paid much better than you are. No way! Zack, go find Angeal's house. It should be over there. It's likely already in enemy hands. Be careful. I do hope the rumors of the Final Fantasy IX remake or remaster or whatever are true. Because I, I do think Square can pump out some decent remasters. Like this, I would call more of a remaster than a remake. And um, I like it so far. I mean, any issues people seem to have with the game are mostly just the original game's issues that I'm seeing in chat, aside from Zack's voice. But I'm kind of curious to see, like, Final Fantasy IX was definitely not the best-selling game in the series, so it makes me wonder what they would do with it. Let's see. Angeal's house is... Somewhere! <laughs> Alright, I'll just have to check each one. You cannot get these items now. But if you check on them now, you can collect them at a later time. Huh? I don't remember that. But now's not really the time. I'll come back later. Wait, what?
I forgot that cool game mechanic. Blood Taste. Blood Taste sounds like a good best of the worst movie. Starring like Cameron Mitchell, Robert Zadar. Douche Falooza. Sleeve McDykel. Of course David Carradine would be in it. Of course he'd be just hanging around the set, you know? Anybody home? You know, Annie, did you see my son Dushfaluza in the new movie Bloodthirst? Or, uh, uh, blood taste? Uh, he's your brother, Annie. Uh, uh, second brother. I knew Anybody David home? Carradine. Eh? We had Anybody similar home? hobbies. Anybody uh, home? Uh, uh. Can't hear anything. And the door's locked. Andy, I haven't hydrated in two weeks. My species, we... we we get a little moisture from the exposed skin, you know? Uh, uh, greetings, ma'am. Are you Angeal's mother? Um, my name is Zach. Are you Zach, the puppy? Chat didn't know about the MILF subplot, Excuse huh? Excuse me? <laughs> My son wrote to me once about you. Zero attention span. Restless as a little puppy. <laughs> oh, thanks, Angeal. Hey, why is this town populated by You're demon dogs? Here together with Genesis, are you? No, I'm not. Don't worry. What is happening with my son? I'm not really sure. Genesis came back here. A month ago, with an army of cohorts. And they proceeded to take the lives of many townspeople. Genesis. Genesis. He used to be such a good boy. Is Angeal... He came here. But he left his sword and went off somewhere. That sword represents our family's honor. I see. No wonder. He never uses this sword, really, ever. I'll take care of Angeal. You should go and hide somewhere. Don't be concerned. Genesis cannot harm me. Hmm. Thank you for the raid! You know, <clears throat> I find this game to be a little confusing, eh? Oh man, Watto VTuber. Five gil obtained, huh? Uh, what, what, who can use this sword anyway, huh? Oh, Rodians cannot lift this. When Angeal decided to join Shinra, my husband had that sword made for him and told him to fight with honor. He borrowed a lot of... He worked so hard to return the debt, he eventually died of fatigue. 
Can I can I have it, please? Oh, a picture of Angeal. So young. Must be when he first joined Soldier. Do Watto voice lose 100 viewers? And there it is. That Buster Sword. This one's a family picture. <laughs> Look at Angeal. Showing off that Buster Sword again. This must be Angeal's father. Looks like a serious guy. A baby picture. This is Angeal? So cute. Oh, God. Now these two rascals must be Angeal and Genesis. I, I can't see the pictures. Where did you go? <laughs> what? Genesis copies. Activating combat mode. There's a factory on the outskirts. I saw a Genesis copy go in. You think it might be their HQ? I do. I'm on a cliff overlooking the factory. The best way in is from above. Come to the clifftop now. What is this? But now's not really the time. I'll come back later. <laughs> it's just like, don't put it there then. What is this? But no. Huh, uh. <clears throat> Excuse me. Activating combat mode. Right. Now that. Star Wars has a good show, like Andor. They they have proven that they can take characters that no one really knows anything about and has had little screen time and make a show that's engaging and interesting. You know where this is going, chat. You know what we need. I used to be a shop owner. No, I am Boba Fett's right hand. What? Oh, oh, oh. Why is Watto edging? That's the only way his species can procreate. The sperm need to gestate with a little bit of edging, and uh. Oh, yeah. You know, I live in Galaxy's Edge. It's good to live there. Yeah. <laughs> How many new viewers are here just because they want to check out Final Fantasy 7? I can imagine some people heading over to the directory, seeing this, hearing the Watto bit, and then but doing the Jerry ready. Seinfeld, nah, and then leaving. Out of the way. However, for the three people that end up staying and then watching more of this crap, you know, one of us. This is just a relatively normal weekday. Genesis Seinfeld is a pretentious ass anyway. No, I'm Wait, referencing a meme. I'm not making a statement on the... We can't that was a very Twitter moment, chat member. 
What about Angeal? He wasn't at the house. But please, give me time. If I find Angeal, I can talk to him. If I can convince Angeal, maybe Genesis will come back too. I understand now why Sephiroth chose you. Huh? Genesis and Angeal. Those two were Sephiroth's only friends. He didn't want to fight them. That's why he refused the mission. Well, Angeal is my friend too. He's counting on you to bring them both back. <sighs> Time is short. Let's go. I think I missed a treasure chest outside. Made it in. No problem. Someone said new Zack is growing on me. Some lines I think are done fairly well. Go on ahead. I've got your back. And he sounds like a a very eager young lad. Like, he, he's ready to start his career and, and, you know, he's got, like, a ton of energy and, you know, he wants to be a hero. I get, like, there's a couple times where this actor has portrayed that. And then sometimes where it's very nasally and, and maybe not the best line reads. Zach, this way. Keep sharp. It keeps going in between Sonic and Raiden, and most of the time it's just Sonic. <laughs> the voice actor had a cold. Do you want to hear something funny? In um, the Beatles' first album, Please Please Me, John Lennon had a cold. That's right. He did, and he sang Twist and Shout. The whole album he sang with a cold. Especially Twist and Shout. Um, but actually, Vinny... Yep, there you go. Twitter moment. Again, not making a statement on the quality of the character of these human beings. Literally just making a reference. Pancakes or waffles, chat. Ah. Two are months over. Is this the end? No, not if I can help it. Waffles killed my father and ate my pancakes. Do you like waffles? No, I like pancakes, so therefore I cannot like waffles. I like pancakes a little bit more. But I love waffles, too. What about French toast? You know, I didn't ask about French toast, so fuck you. No, I love French toast as well. Just breakfast. I love breakfast. I'll eat breakfast a lot. I don't care. Whenever. Don't give a shit. <laughs> Just give me some breakfast. Conflict resolved. Chat, no, I'm gonna say that after a chat fight. I'd go to a Waffle House if I could, but there's none near me. I have to drive like two fucking hours to get a Waffle House.
Well, that's generous. Out of the way. Cause chat, where else would I get waffles if not for the Waffle House? I mean, they're practically non-existent outside of Waffle House. Oh, I just got a full thing. Thanks, Ifrit. It is not possible to check actual experience points. <laughs> That's how you level up. It has to hit 777. International House of Pancakes. Vinny, someone just raided tonight. Uh, just now. Wait, who raided? Thank you, everyone who has raided the stream. I, I really appreciate it. Um, I don't know who raided, but thank you. Six viewers? Oh, all right. I mean, even six viewers is nice, thanks. But uh, I'm just not going to be calling out every raid. There's, there's going to be plenty of times where I miss them, or it's just going to end up being meme raids, this is so... The copies are made. Go upstairs. Genesis may be there. Hey, six people in a room is a lot of people in a room, chat. That's more than you have controllers for Smash, generally. Unless you're going to play, like, eight-player Smash. What the fuck are you doing? But if you think about it, six people is still a lot of people. Wow, look at the computers in the world of Final Fantasy VII. Perpetually stuck in the 90s. Infinite in mystery is the gift of the goddess. We seek it thus and take to the sky. Oh my god, right, I forgot about this dude. Ripples form on the oh, no. surface. The wandering soul knows no rest. <laughs> yeah, there, there's a pretty interesting Settle trope down. I've never seen before, uh, but the villain exactly. speaks in poetry. The grave at the house. We found the remains of our people there as well. It didn't take much to have them send false reports. Just some mild threats. <clears throat> they would have done that anyway. At least your parents would have. My parents betrayed me. They had always betrayed me from the very beginning. They betrayed me. I fed up with this warl. What do you know? Shit, relax, dogs. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, partner. Storytelling. I see. You finally made your decision. I'll respect your wishes, old friend. However... Can you really live on that side? Are we the baddies? Angeal! And Jill, don't you just don't you just love spreading Mako energy throughout all of Final Fantasy VII world? I guess it's it's just called world. Why doesn't Genesis like this too? 
Cloud, the planet's dying. Damn. Cloud. Where is he? Gaia, Did sorry, he Gaia. Factory? Shot him in the head. This dude has a cult 1911. What the fuck? There's Did no they time. separately evolve cult 1911s in this world? Wait, we're gonna give up the search? We can't leave any evidence. An airstrike has been called. Are you sure nobody is at Angel's house? In Jill's house. Hurry. Amazing. You know what it is, chat? When a game has graphics that are more modern and like, you know, really really detailed. Oh, man. But has cutscenes like it was done on PSP, or from like the 90s or mid 2000s. It, can't be too fast or it too just long. looks Keep fucking focus. weird. Same routine as before. Are you ready? I have to be. Pay close attention to the fuse sound and the shell color. That's all the advice I can give you. Fuse sound? <laughs> sound. Keep your ears open. Just looking straight ahead. The sound will indicate the right time to attack. Watch for the shell's color change, too. I'm counting on you. View sound and color, huh? I have to get to Angel's mom quickly. <laughs> it's like that awkward turn. I forgot about this segment entirely, chat. It's missile baseball. Well, sh they're shells. They're shells. Pocket full of shells. Oh, yeah. Hey, Sonic. What a what a bizarre little aside. I hope she's all right. Gotta find Just her. for no reason. Now. Oh, I can get the uh, items now. Oh, that's why you can get them. I forgot about that entirely. I thought it was like come back way later on in the game. Check out what. Isn't there another one? <laughs> After some deliberation, I've managed to buy a little more time. Go do whatever needs to be done. Thank you, Tsung. Those shells are Shinra products, too. So you'll be rewarded for- Thank you, Tsung. It's just such a- Like, an awkward-sounding response. And also, here's some money. Oh, oh, because I got the items. Right, right, right. On second thought, nothing is going to happen. Don't worry. He didn't even do that, dog. My mother could not continue to live. 
And neither can her son. What are you talking about? What's going on here? I told you. <gasps> you can't live on that side anymore. <sighs> <laughs> Tripped him. My friend, do you fly away now to a world that abhors you and I? Shut up! All that awaits Shut you up. I'm is a somber you. morrow, no matter where the winds may blow. I don't see Sephiroth today, but are you game? Th this is insane. God. A summon. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, that's my reaction too, sure. We're going up against Bahamut now. Jesus. No, that I mean, you would think that's a forced loss, but it's not. Instead of Blizzard Blade, let's try Power Attack. That's like a second. Ah, you're, ah! I need a limit break. Something's gonna happen. Oh, we got a summon. No, we didn't. Ah, oh, god damn it. I am so fucked. I'm sure he'll be fine. Oh, he is. He's alright. He, he's, he's fine. Come on, I need... Uh, I need triple Sephiroth or something. Punch the dragon in the tail. Yeah, kick it in the feet. That'll show it. Yes! One short of leap. Better run for it. Here we go. Go. 
go, go! Actually, a fun battle. Like, the battle system is definitely better than it was. And I find it to be somewhat engaging. There's randomness with the slots, but I enjoyed that. Summons aren't meant to be used like this. What happened to dreams and honor? We are monsters. <gasps> yeah, we have neither dreams nor honor. Whatever the fuck you say. Wow, how did that dude grow feathers? Soldier. Doesn't mean monster. I kind of think it does. Uh, Niner Niner, our guy is still there in the village over. Are we still dropping these bombs? Uh, uh proceed, uh, Roger, Roger Codger. Uh, up, up. Blow the whole town up, thank you, up, up, up. Dumb apples. Angel. That's his headshot. You know how many acting jobs he got using that? Well, that's chapter two. That's as far as I can play. I think... The document here said I could play up to that part, right? However, it said about six hours of gameplay. Six hours total length. Oh, okay, I can only stream six hours of the game. If I do, like, side quests and stuff. Angel. The war is over. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh-oh. Six hours and up to this part. That's fine. Um, well, I got a taste of the game. I have to stop now because otherwise Square Enix will be very upset. If you like the original game, it's more of that. There are some things that good graphics have made funnier by accident. I don't know how I feel about some of the direction on the vo uh, voiceover. I don't know how I feel about some of the voice actors. I, I really don't like saying that, but... It's... Got a weird cadence to, like, the, the dialogue. Like, I don't even feel like these are characters interacting sometimes, but... Again, the original wasn't exactly an award-winning experience. It was just a, a good game on the PSP. That actually ended up being a pretty decent prequel to Final Fantasy VII. And... This feels like that. It's got some improved combat. The music is still pretty good. The gameplay is... is fun. But yeah, I can imagine a lot of people watching this that just will not take it seriously at all. And that's fine. But, you know, if you're into the original Crisis Core, it's not bad. It's not bad. Someone said, probably fun on Switch Mobile. Yeah. Vinny, is this supposed to be serious? Uh, yeah. I think it is. Vinny, can you take it seriously? A dude murdered his mom, and it was hilarious. It was kind of hilarious unintentionally. 
Um, the original was always taken with a grain of cheese, and I feel like this is also cheese. But maybe even a little bit more so, considering they look so fucking realistic. Well, not realistic, but the graphics are so much better. But there are some weirdly, like I said, there's some weirdly emotional moments in this game that we have yet to get to. So, once again, thank you for watching this. Um, I wouldn't... I'm not sure this is going to be a full playthrough. I don't think it will. But I'm glad I could just check this out for a little bit. Yeah. So, uh, why don't we take a quick break? I'll be back with Mario Rabbids. We'll finish it up. Me? Me?